In Adair counties, dozens of people are now in jail after local, state, and federal law enforcement agencies carried out a massive warrant sweep. Two Works For You reporter Joe Hinkie is live at a, with a look at Operation Red Fern. Joe? Well, Brian, I'm told after carrying out 48 warrants, many for violent crimes, 38 people have now been booked into Cherokee County's detention center here behind me. Now, here are some of the individuals booked into jail. The warrants for these suspects range from robbery to violent crimes and also felon drug charges, felony drug charges. The arrest began here in Cherokee County and also Adair County on Monday, and the operation wrapped up yesterday. The U.S. Marshals Service reports other arrests as part of Operation Red Fern include kidnapping, child molestation, murder, Murder, attempted murder and arson. Before this week, investigators spent months tracking down suspects, as many of them do not have permanent addresses, and marshals tell me move around the area often. It's hard to catch up with some of them when it's like that because you never know where they're floating at. However, through interviewing people and talking with neighbors and, and being out in the community, and our teams were so good with the interviewing and the questioning that it led to led to the arrest. So in Cherokee. Now, U.S. Marshals, OHP, Cherokee Nation Marshals, Tahlequah Police, Cherokee County's Sheriff's Office, and the District 27 DA's Office all worked on Operation Redfern. The reason they only made 38 arrests with 48 warrants in hand, though, is because 10 of the suspects are already incarcerated for other crimes. I'm told those 10 individuals could now be facing additional charges for these other crimes listed in the most recent warrants. And with 38 people now booked into the detention center here in Cherokee County, I'm told Phase 1 of Operation Redfern is officially complete as of yesterday. Phase 2 will begin in March, and marshals tell me they will be uh, uh, issuing similar warrants for violent crimes uh, in neighboring counties around Cherokee and Adair. Reporting live in Tahlequah, Joe Hinkie, Two Works For You.